Marco Colbert, Speed Recovery Finish Network. As you guys can see, we spent a lot of our YouTube check this month getting some tools, getting some things to review. This one was long overdue. I have not bought a new buffer since 2013, 14. I've had this uh, Trades Pro since like 2014. Uh, had it a long time. However, guys, this is old school. This is a rotary buffer. It does leave a lot of swirls. I've tried everything. I've tried using the finishing pads, using different kinds of polishes. For some reason, maybe I'm maybe it's user error. I just always get swirls when I use it. So we grab the new Bayer dual action. Um, we got the black finishing pad on there. Probably cleaned it off a little bit. It's been used only about two times. Use it on a newer vehicle that had minor swirls, not really a whole lot of heavy imperfections. So we're in the back. Um, I think the car I'm going to pick out is probably the Celica. This thing is dirty, nasty, swirls. I am going to repaint this car, but just for demonstrational purpose, we're going to go ahead and pull it up to the front and uh, see what it can do. This is really great you know maybe if you still want to use a rotary buffer for the cutting process and then when you get to the polishing process maybe switching over to the dual action i've heard of some guys doing that um that i'm not a detail expert so i've spoken to a couple other guys as far as uh you know how to do this the process and this is just one pass with the black finishing pad and this is speedo coats like one step you know compound polish it's kind of like a compound polish all in one um really good product and it did take a lot more imperfections out than what i was thinking if you're in the market for a really good quality buffer you know there's lots of them out there i spent like god what i spent i think i spent like 30 bucks on that trades per buffer seven eight years ago you can still get cheap rotary buffers for 40 bucks guys spend the extra 60 dollars get something that's going to work with you not against you. One thing I want to point out, um, guys, I didn't want to drag this video out. We didn't even get out the different pads I have. 
I have orange cutting pads. I have blue pads. Um, and they all cut different. Uh, the orange cutting pads, that's going to really dig in a little deeper and probably get, you know, some more of these other scratches like right here out. You can't really see it. Yeah, you can see it right there. Probably more better for scratches like that. Um, that is in the surface. It is in the clear coat. But for just one to two, I think it did the two passes total with the black finishing pads, Speedo Coat, the SMR 950 fin finishing compound, um, and the bear, you know, the bear deluxe buffer. Uh, we got some pretty good results, and, I, and I'm very, very happy with it. So does it work? Thumbs up. Yes, it does. Happy with it. Happy I spent 100 bucks and got myself a nice brand new buffer. So that's going to wrap it up for this one. Like and subscribe. New videos every week.